Hey everybody, this is Steve Cooper, food app critic for tokemag.com. Um, if you have been on the internet in the last month or so, uh, you can't go anywhere without hearing about the new iPhone 4S and particularly Siri, the personal assistant that comes with the iPhone 4S. Um, so most of, most of what I've seen, however, has been talking about what an amazing technological breakthrough it has been. And then the other comments that I've been hearing about Siri is um, how fun it can be, how, uh, how clever you can get and ask it some really fun things. Um, I, I won't get into that here. Look it up. There's, there's literally websites dedicated to the fun, clever things you can ask Siri. Uh, what I want to focus on today is can it help you in your kitchen? Um, can it be that sous chef that you've been missing? So. I think it can. Uh, so I, I'm really going to give you some tips and tricks on how to use Siri, um, and then I will give it a, the general overall rating of how I think it works, and kind of explain a few things as I go along. So bear with me if this video is a slight bit longer than uh, other videos, but I think it'll be worth the time and effort here. So first off, uh, Siri, in, in case you don't know what it is. It is a, they call it a, a personal assistant. It's an intelligent personal assistant, as Apple says, because it really learns and caters to the individual user. So it will start picking up the way you pronounce things the more you input into the device. Um, and so you basically can tell it something, and then it will respond. Um, it connects with essentially all of the built-in Apple apps, so it'll connect with notes, calendars, uh, reminders, and so you can ask it to set a date, set a timer, different things like that. It also works with Wolfram Alpha, which is a website that's kind of like an almanac. Um, it does all sorts of like really cool calculations and is able to look up a lot of really great information. Um, and so I'll get into that in a minute. And then it will also do reviews according to Yelp. And so you can have it, have it uh, give you results um, by asking it verbally, and then it will spit back information uh, based on what Yelp has uh, offered it. And then lastly, it will do a general search for you using uh, Google by default, um, or you can go into the settings and change it to also do uh, use Yahoo or Bing. So um, I won't get into um, how to make those changes or whatever. What I really want to focus on today is how you can use Siri to um, help improve your kitchen, help improve uh, your food um, world. So uh, I'm going to use it right now as a kitchen utility. So here we go. Um, to get things started, I think one of the simplest, easiest ways, I, I used this just last night. I was, uh, I was roasting some things in the oven and I needed to set a timer. So I grab my phone and I hit and hold the button down and then it makes a little ding. I'm talking. Let's see how smart it is. Uh, set the timer for 30 minutes. Whoops. I can't <laughs> set the timer for a specific time. It was. I was. I was talking while I was, before I was giving instructions. Let's try this one more time. Set timer for 30 minutes. Boom, just like that. And so the timer pulls up and it immediately starts counting down. Um, and then I can even just verbally tell it to can't stop the timer. Stop timer. And okay, it's, it's paused. It's paused. Boom, just like that. So that's a very simple uh, use of Siri. Um, but we can get a little more complicated with it. So if you want to, let's say, Let's say you want to double a recipe, okay? You can, and you get a recipe and it asks for two-thirds cup. Um, what I found was if you just say double two-thirds cup, it doesn't really give you a good result. So what you really need to do is ask Siri to do a little math for you. So um, in this example, I'm going to tell it to uh, two-thirds cup, cup plus, or I'm, I'm going to leave the cup out of it because that's actually irrelevant. So I'm just going to say two-thirds plus two-thirds. Let's see how this works. Two thirds plus two thirds. I found this for you. And so it checked Wolfram Alpha, and there it goes. It gives me one one point three or four over three or one and a third. 
So it just knocks out the math for you. So that's an easy way to double a recipe. Unfortunately, you can't just show it a recipe or anything like that, and it'll just immediately duplicate it. You're going to have to go ingredient by ingredient, but I'm hoping, you know, if something asks for a quarter of this, you can you know that it's a half and that sort of thing, so maybe use it for the more complicated things. Uh, you can also do it uh, just the opposite. You can have it cut things in half, so just divide by two or something along those lines. Um, another thing that you can do, uh, and I use it all the time for making lists, it does dictation, so I can give it things to write down for me. So you, what you want to do is you want to start a note and then tell it what you want. And so you can do that all in one sequence, or you can um, tell it to start a note, and then it will come back to you and ask you what you want to do, and then you, you tell it what you want to have in the note. The note, when I'm talking about notes, is really just a, a grocery list. Um, that's, how, that's how I use it anyway. You might use it as a, a chef's notebook. Um, you could make comments about something that you did and whether it worked or whether it didn't work. Um, but being able to talk naturally into Siri and get these kind of results is, is pretty powerful. Um, and the one thing I should mention is if you want to use any type of punctuation, you actually have to say the punctuation. So if you want to say something like, um, I really like these tomatoes, period. Or, is this mozzarella? Question mark. So you have to say those things. Um, and also, if you're creating a list and you want uh, tomatoes, basil, mozzarella, olive oil, each one of those, you're going to have to say new line, new line, new line. So what I found, though, was is if I just go into Siri right now and I punch and I click it and I say, uh, note, and then I say mozzarella new line, basil new line, all that stuff. Um, it will it will show it in Siri as a new line, but when it translates it over to the note, it doesn't break it into a new line. Um, I actually have to go into the notes section, start a new note, um, and then it works perfect from there when I dictate it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go here. I am going to open up my notes app. I'm going to start a new note. And then at the bottom here, and, and I should mention this too, wherever there's a keyboard using any of the apps, there's now a little microphone button. Um, and so you can push that to input any of the information you want. So let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a, a short little shopping list that I was just describing. Shopping list, new line. Basil, new line. Tomato, new line. Mozzarella cheese, new line. So it's thinking... And so, so uh, yeah, here you go. I'm just going to zoom in and show you. Whoops. Let's see. There you are. So just so you know that I'm when, when I'm doing these cut, <laughs> cutaways, um, it, it's really doing this stuff right on the fly, just just as I'm saying it. So it's it's pretty it's pretty cool like that. Um, it gets really powerful uh, when it starts doing conversions and other things too. So I didn't mention this. So. I don't even have to leave notes, so now I can I can go. Uh, I want to convert, say, gallons to liters, or liters to gallons, or Celsius to Fahrenheit. I can do all of that stuff here. So I can just ask Siri, how many gallons are in a liter? And so now it's gonna okay. think, it's thinking about it. And there you go. 0.2642 gallons are in one liter. Um, Let's ask it uh, to convert uh, Celsius. Uh, you know, a lot of these recipe books have Celsius in it when you're throwing things in the oven. Convert 200 Celsius to Fahrenheit. Thinking? Let me think about that. I found this for you. And there you go. 200 Celsius is 392 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can see how this would be just really great as a quick reference. Um, even more powerful is that it also uses the GPS that's in the phone. So what you can do with that is you can actually set reminders according to location. So when you're going to the grocery store, say, um, you can have it remind you to pick things up when you arrive at the grocery store. So as an example of that, um, uh, there's a grocery store near me called Ralph's. So I will use that as my example. Remind me to pick up cheese, bread, eggs, milk when I arrive at Ralph's. When would you 
you like me to remind you? When I arrive at Rouse. Steve, I don't understand. Mm. When I arrive at Rouse. Oh, that doesn't work. Remind you at a time, or when you leave or arrive somewhere. Arrive at Rouse. Steve, I don't understand. All right. Arrive at Rouse. So much for that. Let me try. You know, let me try. Let me try another uh, grocery store. When would you like me to arrive at Whole Foods? Sorry, I don't understand. Arrive at Whole Foods. I'm gonna have to try this again. Cancel reminder. Okay, I won't remind you. So as you can see, this is a little bit of a work in progress. Um, let me try that again, one more time. Remind me to pick up eggs, milk, bread when I arrive at Whole Foods. When would you like me to remind you? When I arrive at Whole Foods. I don't know what you mean by when I arrive at Whole Foods. Well, <laughs> this is... This is kind of funny. This was working uh, pretty well for me when I was doing the testing when the writing, but as you can still, still see, it's still a work in progress, but I, I promise you it did work. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into that, uh, but that is another thing that you can do. Um, I will wrap it up there. Uh, I'm a little embarrassed by that, uh, but overall, I mean, this thing is really powerful, so... Um, I find it very useful in the limited use that I've been, in the limited time I've been using it already, um, just to take notes, to set timers, to remind me to do things, to, to, to make the conversions. Um, because of that, because it's so easy and so um, quick to use, um, it's very accessible, you know, you have it in your pocket, and it's hands-free, by the way, you know, in terms of you don't have to punch in a whole bunch of stuff. And you can also use it with your little earphones, so maybe you're listening to music or something. Um, which, by the way, is something I also mentioned. You can just have it play music for you. So that's one of the things I do when I cook is I, I play some music. So you can create a kitchen mix and then say play kitchen mix and it'll do it. It'll start playing your, your songs for you. Overall, um, even though it didn't work on my reminders here, which is kind of, ugh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should go back and dock it on, on the uh, official score. But I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Um, I have a lot of hope for this, and I think it's only going to get better. This is uh, listed as beta on um, Apple, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I, I think you will be too, so uh, try it out. Leave some notes. Leave some comments. Let us know how you use Siri, and um, if you have any ideas of how we could better use it in our kitchen. I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say. So check it out, tokemag.com. There's a whole bunch of other app reviews there. So um, I can't wait to hear from you guys. Thanks.